Pinterest is an online tool that teachers can use in their classrooms. Think of it as an online pin board or bulletin board that you can pin up anything from inspirational quotes to recipes, teaching resources, and even students' resources. Pinterest is the third most used social networking site. We, as educators, should strive to try new and useful technologies in our classroom. To use full effective Pinterest, you must register for an account or sign in. When you sign in, you'll be brought to the home page, which is what you see here. This home feed consists of your activity and activity of people that you follow. When someone you follow pins a pin, it will show up here. On the right hand side, you will see your name. If you click on your name, you will see a drop down menu where you can click to see your boards, your pins, your likes, and other settings in your account. On the left hand side, you will see a button with three lines. This shows a drop down menu of popular feeds. Click on one you're interested in to see pins in that category. In the search bar, you can also search for keywords. And click the Pinterest name to return to your home screen. To add a board, you will need to go to your boards, which can be found by clicking your name on the right hand side. Click the Your Boards option. From here, you can see all of the boards you have created. To create a new board, click the gray space titled Create a Board. You must create a name for your board to help you identify it, a short description if you'd like, and choose the category you think it fits under. Choose other if you're unsure. When you're finished, click the red button at the bottom labeled Create Board. Now, how to add a pin to your board. Click one of the pins you would like to save. From here, you can explore the pin further and see the website that is connected to that pin. Clicking on the picture again will open up this website. To pin the pin, you will click the red Pin It button. From here, you will choose which board you would like it to be filed under, and ensure that there is a short description of the pin, because your pin will not be pinned without one. Click the red Pin It button to pin your pin. To follow someone, you must find the pin you like. Click on the individual's picture. This will take you to their board that that specific pin is pinned under. Click their picture again and you will see all of their boards. From here you can choose to follow all of their boards by clicking here or you can scroll down and choose individual boards you would like to follow. Pinterest can be used in the classroom a variety of different ways. I will list a few that may be beneficial to you and your students. You can ask your students to use their own Pinterest boards to organize information for an essay or research assignment. All of their information will be organized in one spot that can be accessed at school or at home. You can have your own board of books the class is reading, perhaps for pleasure or in their literature circles. Ask the students to find the book they are reading and comment on it each day. The comment can be whatever they like, or you as a teacher can provide guiding questions for their comments. You now have all students' comments in one place and are able to access their work from both school and home. You can use Pinterest at the beginning of the year or beginning of a semester as an icebreaker or a get to know you task. Ask the students to create a board titled Get to Know Me. In this board, they can pin pins that represent their interests, hobbies, and favorite subjects. You can share these with the class as a whole or use them purely for yourself. You now have a class collection of interests that you can use to engage each individual student or perhaps cater to their needs. You may also be able to cultivate some information on prior knowledge from each of your students' Get to Know Me boards. Additionally, you can create a board of your own before the first day of classes and allow students to get to know you better. This may allow students to feel more comfortable with you and aware of what your interests and passions are. They can approach you with questions of their own, an instant relationship builder.
Another way you can incorporate Pinterest in the classroom is through creating a board to introduce a new unit or lesson. This is a great way to set the stage and get students interested in the content ahead. You can include interesting pictures, links to YouTube videos, or even interesting resources you would like to share with your class. This is a great tool because students can reference it throughout the unit, at home, or at school, and it is a place you can add additional resources or worksheets for students, organizing one unit all in one place. Finally, Pinterest is a great tool for teachers to use to find lesson plans, resources for the classroom, and a great way to interact with others in the same profession as you.